Well, hey there, you're on the internet, I'm unemployed, and welcome to the Triple N Network, where all you newbie nib nerds can find all the news you'll need. Let's look at an ink now, shall we? Today's ink is actually a proprietary cartridge by Pilot, part of their Mixable series. They look like this. They usually come in a little white box of about a dozen and a bunch of different colors. The pen I used it in is this Pilot 78G in double broad. Let's see if it, yep. Uh, but it writes fairly uh, dry, considering it's a double broad, and also because it's an Asian nib, it runs much narrower than uh, most Western nibs. Uh, also, both the broad and the double broad are stub nibs in these pens, so uh, stubs tend to run a bit dry anyway, so this one certainly did. Tested it on five kinds of paper. First one is Rhodia, 90 grams per square meter. This is the light green ink, by the way. There's a darker green, sort of more of a foresty green. Uh, it doesn't shade a great deal. That might be because it's just a, a fairly lighter shade of green in the first place. Um, as you might predict, uh, because it's meant to be a mixable ink, it's not terribly water resistant. That is because that's so dark because the water actually didn't get that far. Same with that. Um, it's a nice bright green. Um, it might be a little intense to try and read like a whole page of. Uh, it might make your eyes hurt after a while. But it's a nice green. It's a jolly green. Uh, it looks good on this white paper. Next, I have it on standard Mead notebook paper. Um, it did spread a little bit, so it got broad. However, it dried almost instantly. And even though it did seep into the actual cellular fibrous parts of the paper, it didn't stick around that well. Um, there was almost no shading at all on this paper, and uh, it got kind of muted. It lost some of that brightness, and it became sort of just like a flatter light green. Next is Tomo River paper, which uh, actually I felt showed the best potential for shading, especially down here. Um, but as you can see, there was some pretty intense dry times, and you can't even see the water test, really. Um, it's pretty much all gone, uh, but it also, in some ways, I think it kind of darkened the ink a little bit, which made it less, uh, painful to read. Next is standard copier paper. There was some spread. There was no feathering that I saw, uh, no bleed through on any of the papers so far, um, it did get a little flattened, however, it did dry fairly quickly. Um, and again, the water test was pretty bad. Uh, there was a bit of show through and the barest little bits of bleed through on the mead paper. However, the ink is so light, it really shouldn't bother the average person. And lastly is moleskin paper, where the water actually did the least amount to remove it, however, it did cause it to spread a very great deal. It did remain fairly vibrant despite the off-white color of the paper. There was a good deal of spread, so this is actually where the uh, double broad definitely looked the broadest in this very narrow, uh, I think these are five or six millimeter lines. Um, it, it was sort of too big to comfortably write. but. Uh, yeah, so there's that, and then I also did a chromatography. And actually, I put the drop of ink so low that when I dipped it in water, uh, it actually touched the water. But since it got pushed that far up, you can't even see where the initial drop of ink was, which shows just how little water resistance this holds. But as you can see, it's, it's very heavily yellow, a little bit of green, and the darker green cartridge looks much more like the dark green right up here at the rim, which got pushed all the way up, which makes me think that um, 
if that is the primary ingredient in the darker green pilot proprietary cartridge, uh, that's probably not going to be terribly water resistant either, but I may test that at a later date. So there you go. That's the Pilot Mixables Light Green and the Pilot 78G in a double broad, which I highly recommend, but it might be a little hard to find considering they stopped making these pens and the double broads seem to be particularly hard to find, but I really like both of them. Highly recommend them. Uh, might be a little hard to read a lot of, but would probably be ideal for calligraphy, so maybe something like one of these Pilot Parallels would be ideal in that. Highly recommend it, and hope you have a good day from the Triple N Network.